Good evening, everybody. I'm your host, Thomas Ahrens. And I'm Carly Bird. Week 19, we did it. And going with the holiday spirit theme, we're going to be cheerful, delightful, and we're going to be short and sweet to the point. We're going to do a little role reversal since I'm not going to be telling the story. I know you guys are just so upset about that. So what are we drinking tonight? Well, I am get to be telling that tale. And I'm going to be using my trusty phone to whip out the ingredients. So brace yourself for a palate cleanser of culinary adventure. We are drinking a rosemary cocktail. This comes with six frozen cherries, two shots of vodka, or tequila if you like tequila more, squeeze of lime juice, a shot of orange juice, a cup of club soda, a shot of maple syrup, and a little bit of rosemary. And for your adventurous people, you can have it chilled or, like me, no ice. Just go straight for it. Ah, now that's how you read a drink. So with that out of the way, Carly, what are you going to be telling us all tonight? I'm going to be telling you about a story uh, involving a family going to Key West for vacation. Ooh la la, around the Christmas season. And this is kind of a, this is kind of hits pretty good for us because. Near and dear. The first time I went to Key West was exactly the same time of the year. There were Christmas lights everywhere. Um, it's the first time I'd even been in like a tropical type location. And of course it was in December and. Um, we got engaged. Yeah, that's where I got engaged. We got engaged. We got engaged. We got, I got, yeah. So you see, I don't matter. <laughs> um, and we also got married there. Literally yeah. like what, two months ago? Has it been two months? Uh, all of November, all of October. Holy crap. Yeah. October, November. Yeah. Wow. It's yeah. been two months of marriage. Wow. That's crazy. I know. So yeah, this is going to be fun. So without further ado, guys. Here we go. Prepare yourselves for the tale. My encounter with Robert the Christmas doll. Ooh. Last year, I went to Key West, Florida with my family for Christmas vacation. Key West is filled with pools, beaches, restaurants, and local food. One evening, I was watching a YouTube video, and they were discussing the well-known tale of Robert the Doll. The story begins at the turn of the century when a maid for the Otto family gives a doll to their son Robert for Christmas. From the very beginning, Robert falls in love with this doll and never leaves it. He loves this doll so much that he changes his own name to Eugene. That's a red flag. In order to name the <laughs> doll by his name, Robert. That's a red flag. But legends quickly circulate about the doll. It is said that the maid, practicing satanic rituals, also despised the holiday season. Bewitched the doll to harm the family. Some of the family's guests ran out of the Otto's house, swearing that the doll had tried to strangle them. Eugene's parents discovered bruises and burn marks on the, on the child, but he amused himself by speaking casually with Robert and alternating his child's voice back and forth between his own voice to the voice of of a grown man so that I know sounded it's, more so supernatural. So I know it's 2021 and you're supposed to let kids express themselves and identify mm -hmm. as whatever they want to. But if they start doing that, I'm thinking go to the doctors. Really think that's okay. Yeah, yeah. And take the doll away. Because you can't take that kid out in public. Oh, heck no. Nope. Like, nope. how could you? Nope. I, yeah. Take the doll away. Get him to a good therapist. Yeah. The best money can buy you and um pray for the best amen to that <laughs> uh in short the robber doll scares the whole neighborhood sparing all the scary details that set the context of my story eugene ends up dying alone with his allegedly haunted doll oh boy at the end of the video that i was watching it announces that the doll would soon be officially displayed to the public this holiday season at the Art and Historical Museum in Key West, Florida. Stunned by that news, I looked to see if this information was true, and it was. I immediately told my parents, asking them if we could stop by the museum on our trip before returning to France. My parents agreed, and I would finally see the Robert Doll Christmas Eve, the last full day of our trip before heading home for the holidays. How is it that that made it into a museum? <laughs> Key West isn't very large. I mean, I, we've been to Key West a couple of times, and the fact that that made it into the museum, it sadly makes a little sense because it is a small island, 
So, True. I mean, I guess it would be a really fun, like, hey, listen, someone died with this thing. Yeah. Key West isn't very large, though, and I feel like anything that happens in Key West that's, like, minutely historical. Murder doll. Here you go. Here you <laughs> go. <laughs> anyway. Key West is the southernmost point in the United States. You have to take a highway bordered by the sea on both sides so that it's an extremely isolated pre-island. As a result, the local for folklore is extremely strong and Robert is known to all. Besides, to justify a mistake, the local children used to say Robert did it. So example, if they broke a lamp or something in their home, they would just like point at each other and be like, Robert did it. Not yeah, an and, and that's an interesting description of um, of the Key the West. The it's Key really West. lousy. So basically, <laughs> uh, for the individuals that haven't been to the Florida Keys, it starts in Homestead, Florida, where the Everglades are, the national park. It starts with Key Largo and extends all the way through, um, I believe it's Island Marotta, the Marathon, Big Pine. Duck Key. Duck Key, and then it goes down to Key West, and it uses Highway 1, which is a, a, a single, I think it's a, is it a single lane highway or two lane? I forget. No, it's a single lane. Is it single lane? Like, if, you, if you're stuck behind somebody that's going really slow, you can't. You can't go around them. Yeah. There's there's no possible way to get around them. There's either. only a few places that you can like go around somebody. Right. Um, so because of the topography of the water there, it's very it's it's relatively shallow. So you can actually build bridges. So they connect one island to another to another with bridges, and you can drive all the way down to Key West. Oh, it's beautiful. It's fantastic. It's just amazing. A really nice day out there, and you can look out the water. It's one of the best places. Like if you could drive a convertible. If you could own a convertible, it, that'd be the place I have convertible. If you could drive a for convertible, anyone that's seen pretty top sure gear, most people yeah. can drive convertibles <laughs> if given the keys. Yeah, well, okay, can. Well, aren't all convertibles manual? No, they're not. Really? Top Gear lied to me. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, it's extremely beautiful. It's really far down there. I think I think Key West is actually classified as a Caribbean island because it's actually so far down in the Caribbean, or down the Gulf and the Atlantic. But I could be wrong. Check me on that. All right. I will. Later, after the story. The last day came, and with excitement, my family and I set off for the museum. When we entered, we were greeted by a red-headed lady in her 50s at the reception desk. We asked her where the Robert doll was, and we spoke with the guard. There, we don't joke about Robert. We don't take pictures of him. And you have to ask him a question and wait for his answer, said the guard. Some say that a bright reflection on his eyes means a positive answer. Then he warned us that some people weakly disrespect the doll, and it ends up sending, and then they end up sending a letter of apology to Robert at the museum so that he will stop the mischief. So it's like a cursed doll that'll put a curse on you. Basically, that's what it's starting to sound like. Like if you disrespect, if you say something nasty to the doll or make fun of it or whatever, it'll like haunt you. Mm -hmm. And then people must be from like other countries or something that are saying these things well, and then sense, send yeah. letters to the doll of an apology because they can't like fly all the way back to Key West. Interesting. Yeah. She adds that there is a video of a man hitting Robert's glass. The man died later that day in a road accident. Whoa. That's I, freaking nuts. <laughs> I naively asked if I could ask Robert to take a picture with him. As advised in French, obviously, this person's from France. Um, I asked in my foreign language, and the lady said, go ahead, try it. You'll be the first. I wanted to ask Robert if he could take a picture in French. I don't know if that was clear. Take a picture in French? Yeah. I guess he said in French, can I take your picture? Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the way you're you're talking, like she's a little tipsy tonight, guys. Sorry about this. But yeah, it was like she's it's take like I didn't know you had to like okay, anyway, continue. That's why the lady said that'll be the first time Robert's ever heard Fr Fr French. Got you. He's I've asking the French. doll in French, can <laughs> I take your picture? French fries. Okay. Um <laughs> I love my spot. You'll be the very first. My family and I were very enchanted. We explored all the corners of the fort in search of Robert apprehending, apprehended at the same time. We passed old cannons, military costumes, old rusty weapons, and as we turned down a long hallway on our right, there was Robert. 
kidnapped a century-old doll, accused of being the reason of multiple unexplained deaths in Key West. The inspiration for the Annabelle and Chucky dolls, the main subject of the YouTube horror video that I watched recently. Here we are, face to face. The doll was tall, sitting on a chair and enclosed in a glass cage. Behind him, letters of apology from multiple countries, Mexico, Germany, all written in English and imploring Robert to break the curse he cast on them, which dissuaded us to be polite. I take my courage in both hands and say, hello, Robert, I'm from France. I will be delighted to take your picture, may I? In French, a world first, which he felt very proud of apparently to do the first thing ever. Mm. Um, I take a picture of him and I send it to all my friends via Snapchat to show them, show them that I was the bravest, most reckless kid of my generation. With my photo taken, we hurriedly finished our visit and returned to the hotel. The next day, the day of the big departure, we didn't have time to have breakfast because of the because we woke up late, but we packed our bags and climbed into the car to Miami where we took a plane to France the afternoon, mm. in the afternoon. At 11 o'clock in the morning, we came across a Wendy's, a fast food specialized in breakfasts. I don't think that's true. Um, <laughs> the writer is clearly that not from here. It's that Americana, that classic Americana, a Ooh, Wendy's la breakfast. La, that r Wendy's breakfast. This is why everyone in America is fat. Uh, so we stop there to eat. We sit down, order, wait, receive, eat, pay for our order. When we finished our meal, we go back to our car and we we're all shocked to find that our car's windows were broken, except the front one, which would be the windshield, everyone. There was glass. There was glass inside our car as much as outside of our car meaning that the windows exploded that's crazy and were not smashed from the outside or from the inside and more disturbing our suitcases and everything we left in the car was still there my headphones were left in the back seat they were at the same place i left them we weren't robbed we weren't carjacked no one stole from us but the windows just exploded all at the same time as if Robert did it. So he's a dick, but they didn't die. They didn't die. And from the sounds of it, that's the last haunting they've received from Robert. So apparently he didn't hate him that much. Okay. So if there was a doll, I mean, I, the problem is, I think, so I have, I have this, a couple of thoughts here. If there was a doll like this, theoretically, in a, in a museum that had a weird curse on it or, or could place weird curses. And a lot of that is true, where it is, you know, if you go see him, you got to ask permission, you got to be nice, but he may or may not put a curse on you, but right. you got to ask for forgiveness. And then you have the lore of like tons of people in the past putting letters there saying like, please forgive me for whatever happened. Do, do you think that creates more buzz to go see him? I yeah. feel like it does. Oh, yeah, of course. Like, you know. I want to say like, oh, don't go go see this doll. But then part of me is like, no, you probably would because just like that. If you're like in college or high school, like, oh, yeah, especially if he's like famous or whatever, or go see the doll. Yeah, heck, if if you talked about this with your friends or whatever, especially if you're in high school, exactly what you said, and you want to seem cool, of course you're gonna go to the museum, take pictures of him, and send mm -hmm. all your friends, being like, oh, look how brave I am. But here's the thing, I would rather do a Ouija board. Nope. Then go see him. Nope. Why? I would rather never do a Ouija board. Would I would rather? go. I would go visit Robert every day of the week instead of using but a the Ouija problem board is one the, day. If Robert literally has like in this lore, there are people that have letters on the wall saying like, "Please, you know, re re release." Yeah, this that's curse because they like verbally attacked him. Well, if you're nice to him, you just get your windows exploded. Yeah, that's a plus. That's better. Than but how many? How many? Like, I don't know. I just feel like it's safer to use a Ouija board maybe once or twice than. I'm going to say hi to a cursed doll that literally tons of people. And hey, in the comment section, reach out to us in the comment section of YouTube. Tell us, Let us which know. would you prefer? Would you rather go see Robert five days in a row and have to actually talk to him? Or use, or a, Ouija use a Ouija board one time? Yes. 
Yes, let's let the fight begin online. I would like to know. Maybe we should put a poll. <gasps> we should put a poll out oh, on yeah. Facebook. We're, We're doing do a that. Facebook poll, guys, when We're this gonna... episode releases. Yep, next next. Would you rather visit Robert the Doll in the museum five days in a row? You can be nice to him. Okay, you yeah, can be nice. But to him. you have to have a conversation with him. You like have you have to have. Yep. You have to say at least a sentence. Or you get to use a Ouija board one time at night. Um, let's make it better. Ooh, a Ouija board on Halloween Eve. Wouldn't Halloween be better? Okay, fine. The, the night of Halloween. Okay. The night of Halloween. Yeah. A Ouija board. That'd be, I would like to the know a poll from everyone out there out. what people think. Which would you rather do? Yes. Because I think that'd be an interesting one. Because like, yeah, the Ouija board, uh, yeah, of course, clearly. But this doll basically does mess with people a lot consistently. So I feel like there's a higher probability of something bad happening to you if you, if you go to the doll five days in a row than if you use the Ouija board one time on the most spiritual day of the year. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe. But maybe this doll only gets his power near Christmas time. <gasps> that could very well be because that was the day that he was given to Eugene. Yeah. So that's where he gets, because yeah, maybe he was jaded. Something might have happened there. Yeah. I mean, elements of this story really do remind me of, um, what, what was that other, was it Mona, the three-faced doll? Thelma. Thelma, the three-faced doll. Thelma, face, the three-faced doll. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, like that, like where it is, there's that weird connection between a person and an inanimate object where it's like an unhealthy relationship. Yeah. And I could really see it in this one too. Like if you're switching your name around, like first off, red flag, if you're a parent, please, please, please oh, yeah. talk to your kids. Do not let them identify as a serial killing doll. That's mm -hmm. a little weird. But um, yeah, that was, that was a pretty good story. Um, And I liked it. It was, it was bad. Key, it, it was, was key, short, sweet to the point. It was Key West themed. Yes. That was awesome. Um, but yeah, brought back it, memories. It really did. And then if we have uh, if we have any listeners from down that way, if there are other any cultural, spiritual stories or really just cryptid things from down there, please send them to us. We love Florida. Yes. Hashtag I love you guys for life. Let yeah, us know. We we'll read them. There someday. That'd be great. That would be great. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. And again, getting closer to the holiday season, please make mm -hmm. sure you guys. Yeah. Oh, here. You finish it off. Getting close to the holiday season. Please make sure you guys like and subscribe. And um, we love you. Okay, bye. See you guys next time on Spirits and Ghost Stories. See ya.